Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now I've been trying to get away from doing the, uh, the intros, but I haven't had a whole lot of success with that. So I'm going to have to go back into doing that again, but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I possibly can. I apologize for, uh, for how infrequently we've been posting videos the last few weeks. Been working a whole bunch of extra shifts and then I went in and had, had uh, eye surgery. So I've been recovering from that and still am. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get back to our usual routine of having a, a decent number of videos coming out for you guys, especially all those exclusive videos for our patrons. We're really trying to focus on, on giving you guys some awesome content. So for anybody that is interested in that, just go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And I've had, had quite a few questions, uh, even though we've had this system in place for a little while, quite a few questions on how you can... Uh, how how our fans can tip us or show appreciation to us and you can buy us a cup of coffee. We, uh, we set up uh, a, um, a quote unquote tip jar for that. Uh, again, just check the description of the video down below if you're curious about that. Um, otherwise, you know, hope you guys are enjoying things. Please email us with anything strategies you would like to see, questions you may have, videos you would like to see, if you would like to see us do the true crime stuff again, or, or just uh, the mob stories on Vegas, or the history of Vegas, or restaurants, um, anything you might like to see, see, uh, see from us, please shoot me an email, uh, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. We love shooting this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into today's video. All right, so let's look at 30 rolls of the dice without a seven. Let's look at the 16 through 30 because we've already finished the first 15. And uh, oh, by the way, for our patrons, we do have a um, we do have a couple of real player, real strategies, pretty cool ones that we're gonna going to uh, put up there for you guys um, as exclusive videos. Also, as you guys, as everyone's emailing us at sincitylivinglv at gmail.com with strategies or video suggestions or questions, we love filming those. You guys haven't sent us too many of them. Same thing actually goes on the patronage site. If, if any of our patrons email me, I will film an ex patron exclusive video of whatever question, strategy, or anything that you, you send me there. So feel free to email me on either one, Gmail or that one. Uh, so now let's look. So we've already finished one through fifteen. So as we as I talked about with some of them, were statistically had a half a point chance or two and a half chances. This is where we catch everything up, where, where everything falls directly in a statistical likelihood. So the two statistically is only going to come once in thirty rolls. So we did it in the first fifteen. So it's not going to come again. The three, however, is going to come one more time. So standard iron cross player is going to make their ten dollars improper. Iron Cross player is going to make their eight dollars, or no, I'm sorry, their ten dollars. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Improper Iron Cross player with the hop is going to make their eight dollars. And now the expanding out Iron Cross player is likely going to just collect their ten dollars. Because again, they also may be in a horn bet situation at this point. They might have five dollar horn bet or horn high twelve or something along those lines. So now the four is four statistically is going to roll one more time, whereas the 10 will roll two more times because we did twice the first time around. So the four is going to roll one more time, which means that this player makes their $10 once. Improper Iron Cross player makes their $10 once. Improper Iron Cross player with the hop makes their $8 once. They have finally made it into the black. They're in the black. And the Expando player. The Expando player will make their $10 on the field. Let's go one thing at a time. We'll make their $10 on the field. And they can throw in five bucks for their VIGs since they don't have any aces. And they will likely, since they're in a mid-press, press it up one unit. So now the five. Five is statistically going to roll two times. So the improper Iron Cross player is going to make $22. They're going to make their $11 twice. They make their $22. Improper Iron Cross player is going to make their $4 twice. So that means they make $8. Because right, again, 14 minus the field. The hopping player, same thing. 14 minus the field, since they don't have anything up here, that means they're going to make $4. Or $8. $4 twice. 
twice. They're gonna make eight dollars. Now we get to the expanding Iron Cross player. So they will get paid thirty-five. We're gonna have them go to thirty-six. Some will go to thirty-five. Some will go to thirty-six. And then they're gonna bring their field back up. That's the first hit. The second hit, they're gonna go to fifty. Bring their field back up. Now we move on to the six. So the six and eight, this is also where we're gonna catch it up. The six is gonna hit two more times, whereas the eight is gonna hit three more times to catch them back up to the statistical likelihoods. So six hitting two more times. Standard iron cross player is gonna make their $11 twice for $22. We'll go ahead and take three for 25 and then that right there so we can give them another black. Improper iron cross player is gonna make $2 twice. So they're gonna make four bucks. Because again, they get paid 14 minus 10 minus two because they gotta keep everything up. I'm sorry, that was the standard iron cross player. I messed that up, so let's bring it right back because that's not the hopper. It's the standard with the hopper that's coming up next. So standard iron cross player, their improper iron cross player is gonna make $4 twice. So they're gonna make $8. 14 minus the 10. The expand minus that right there is gonna get paid $4, $2 twice. Expand minus the hopper, there we go. Now we're tracking, now we're back on, on track. And then we've got the iron cross expand mid press. So let's take a look at what's going to happen. They're likely gonna to go to 60. Now, they need to bring their Feel bit back. Boom, done. Next time around, the second time, they're gonna go to 90, bring the field bet back. That's their two times. So now we move on to the eight, which we said is gonna hit three times. So the standard iron cross player makes $11 three times. So they make $33. To make it 53, so change later. 53. There we go. The improper iron cross player is going to make their four dollars three times so they're going to make twelve dollars. Go ahead and grab 13 out of here so I can give them a green. And the improper iron cross player with the hop is going to make two dollars three times so they make six bucks. We got four over here. We do so they get ten bucks. And the expanding out iron cross player. Three times on the eight, which means they need to bring back their field three times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so we can just go to the mid press, okay? So for the mid press, they're gonna go up to 42, which means they're gonna get paid $23. Since they don't have the $2 to throw in, we're gonna to have to do it this way. They go up to 42 the first time. Second time, they go up to 60. And the third time, they go up to 90. And that handles the eight. So now we go to the nine. So the nine statistically is gonna come two more times. Standard iron cross player is gonna make $10 twice. And proper iron cross player is also gonna make $10 twice. Improper iron cross player with the hop is gonna make eight dollars twice, so they're gonna make sixteen dollars. And the expando iron cross player. First time. Probably bring themselves up to thirty-six bucks. Bring the field back. Next time around. Second time go to fifty. Bring the field back. So now we go to the 10. So we, as we said, the 10 is gonna come twice this time around. That means that the standard iron cross player is gonna get paid $20. The improper iron cross player is gonna get paid $20. The improper iron cross player with the hop is gonna get paid $16. And now we get to the expanding iron cross player. So, 
Let's throw in $3 so they can get paid $30. They're going to go up to $25, bring their field back, collect the rest. That's the first hit. The second hit, that went 11 bucks, dollar for the VIG, so they can press up, and 10 to bring their field back. Let's look at the 11. 11 is going to roll one time each. So, standard iron cross player collects their $10. And proper iron cross player collects their $10. Proper iron cross player with the hop is going to collect their $8. And the expanding iron cross player collects their $11. Now, let's look at the 12. So finally, the 12 is going to roll. 12 is going to roll one time, one time only. Standard iron cross player gets paid 30 whole dollars. And proper iron cross player will also get paid 30 whole dollars. Now I'm assuming that we are on a pays triple. I know my layout here says double, but assuming we're on a pays triple on the 12, which you'll find in a lot of the off strip casinos. You won't find it quite so much in the on strip. I personally wouldn't play craps on a double because um, that tells me they're probably kind of chintzy on the odds on a lot of the other things as well. And proper iron cross player with the hop is going to get paid $28. You paid their 30 minus the hopper up. And the last one is going to get paid their $30. So, now that we've completed 30 rolls of the dice without a 7, this is a really good roll. This is anywhere between uh, 25 to 40, 45 minute roll. Depends on the bets and the presses and stuff along those lines. Let's take a look. The player playing the standard iron cross now has $334 sitting in their rail. They have, depending on what they bought in with, they may or may not have enough the, the FU money, the, the walk away once the seven finally comes money. Probably not, to be honest. So they have caught a 30 minute roll and they do not have enough to make them walk away, unless they bought in for say $100. If you bought in for two to $300, you've gained $334, but if you've lost 150 already, you're not up that much. So it depends on where in their playing, if it's right at the beginning before they've lost a lot or if it's near the end when, they, when they're way down, on whether or not that is enough to walk away. The improper iron cross player has 136, or $236 in their rail. Same thing, definitely not enough to walk away. It may not even brought them up to even, depending on how much they lost prior to this. Improper iron cross player with the hop, this is the reason I call this the iron stupid, they have $188 in front of them gets smaller and smaller every time here, doesn't it? Then you've got the expand the iron cross and mid press up. They have $420 sitting in front of them that they have banked. Not to mention they have over 300, almost $400 on the layout as well. This player could take all their bets down and have over $800 in profit. This player may actually have enough to say, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm happy, I'm good. So hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. Next we're going to go to the 31 through 45 rolls without a 7. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to 
to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both, both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to. I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions, please email me and uh, and let me know I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more so on and so forth um, so yeah there's that and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup but I am an AV moron so also right there if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.